Okay, I talked to the crowd. How could you step in front of me like that? Huh? You chose to protect them over me. So that's You're true. my sidekick, not theirs. You got that? I'm nobody's sidekick. Oh, is that so? I'm your friend, Sylvester. And I always have been. The Crocs, they didn't do it. And even if they had, this isn't the way to deal with things. Oh, and you know how to deal with things. You let half the villains that killed our friends move in next door. Is that how you deal with things? You don't destroy everything around them. It sends the wrong message. To who? To Courtney. When the staff first lit up for Courtney, she thought it was because you were her father. What? Me? Why would she think that? Courtney's real father disappeared the same Christmas Eve that the JSA died. And for her to think that her father's a superhero who sacrificed his life saving the world, that was a hell of a lot easier than knowing that he was just some guy that didn't love her and hit the road. Right? Jeez. What happened to him? I don't know. I mean, he showed up in Blue Valley last year. He wanted to get this locket. This locket that he'd given to her when she was a little girl. Because it was worth some money also happened to be the thing that she cared the most about. So she gave it to him. He took it and he left. What did you do? I knocked him on his ass. Good. And I'm not proud of it. But that pain... It'll never leave her. And that's why you and I, that's why we gotta be there for her. Sylvester, you can't just be a friend to Courtney. You have to be like a father. All right. She puts you on a pedestal, and she has since she first picked up the staff. And whether you like it or not, you have a responsibility to set an example to Courtney and to all these kids. Not just to be a better man, but to be the star man that you set out to be. I don't know who I set out to be. I just feel like a crazy person now who blows up grocery stores. I don't even have my costume anymore. Costume doesn't make the man. No, it's a start.